Good morning, folks. Saturday here. We're going to cut a little bit of firewood here in a minute. I uh, want to show you how to sharp a chainsaw. This is the way I do it. There's a lot of different ways. A lot of people take them and have them sharpened, but it's very easy to sharpen them yourself. You need a rat tail file. I think this is a five thirty six. Can't hold it. I think it's seven thirty seconds. Seven thirty seconds is what this is now. Depending on your saw and your chain, that could be a little different. I think this is pretty much standard for most average chain saws of normal size, not the small ones. On the top of your chain, there's some uh, little lines on most chains now. Not all chains have them. I'm going to show you right quick what I'm talking about. Can you see that? Right there. I'm going to have to back up. But there's a little line on top of each one of these. And what you want to do is like that one there, you want to get your file the same angle as that little line. What you want to do here is you want to do the same side. You just stay in line with that little line on top of there. And you want to kind of hold up as you go. Not a lot, just a little bit because you want to sharpen the inside top of that file there. I think I skipped one where I had already started here. Yeah, I got that one. And what I do is I, I move that chain up to the next spot here. I push it up. That way I'm maintaining the same angle. That's kind of important on this. You want to make sure as you sharpen this chain, and I just push one way. I don't put it in there and go back and forth. Uh, I'm not saying it won't sharpen it that way, and this is not the only way to sharpen a chainsaw. This is the way I do it, and I know it works. I've been doing it this way a long time. But I just push one way, and clamping it in this vise makes it a whole lot easier. My daddy has always sharpened them sitting down on the ground between his knees. That's about the only way he'll do it. I just found this works better for me. I clamp it in my old vice hand. It don't wiggle at all, and I'm standing up. I ain't, my back ain't hurting while I'm hunched over on the ground. But you just keep going. And if you'll continue to go, just like I'm doing right here, and just push that chain up, when you get that chain up till you find out where you started, you know you have made a whole row and hadn't missed any. And I push it up, and I'm staying right here in the same area. Just sharpening that chain. And it don't take a whole lot, about five or six good whacks. Now, if you ain't got a good file, you can tell when that file's pulling shavings off. You'll actually see them. Right here, as I push, I'm seeing little shivers of metal fly off right here, and I know that's sharpening that chain. It don't take a whole lot. Don't grind it down to nothing. You just want to put a little edge on there unless you've just really burned it up on something. And I almost did that on this one, making a raised bed. I was cutting some pine, and uh, the pine logs had been laying down here by my garden, and... Uh, there was a lot of lighter pine on the inside of them, and friend, that's that's hard stuff. Tough on old chainsaw. But anyway, we we put another edge on this. I've got two saws. I've done done the other one. But just staying right here in about the same area and push that chain up. It don't take but a few minutes to do this. It's a lot easier. You get hurt with a dull chainsaw. You need one that's cutting and you ain't having to force and push. All right, I'm back to where I see that I've already started. What I want to do is I want to turn it around. I clamp it back in there. I don't want to squeeze it too, too hard. But I've got it, and what I'm going to do, 
I'm left-handed, so I have to do it a little backwards going this way. But I'm gonna do the same thing going that way. Same technique. Pull that chain up to my next one. You ain't gotta carry your chainsaw to the saw shop. Get it sharp and get you a little, what they call a rat tail file. Make sure it's the same size as your chain. Most of them, I think, are 730 seconds. This wrote on there. Be wrote right down here on this party file. And I made me a little handle for mine. It's just going to come with a file and point it in. Just drill you a little hole in there. And you any block of wood or whatever will just about work for a handle. But it makes it a lot easier if you put you something on there for a handle. And you can buy handles. I don't be buying handles, though. Too easy to make. Save that dollar. Buy me a Coca-Cola with it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, we're trying to just put some good content on here, oddening and stuff that, that, you know, some people may not be comfortable doing. And if you get these angles are different, your saw cut, it, when you start cutting, it'll start cutting like this. If you're cutting and your saw's pulling one way, that means you got one chain, one direction sharper than the other, or you've got a different angle. If you'll just kind of stay even with these uh, lines, it's put on top of your, it makes it a whole lot easier to stay with that. Thank y'all for watching. Hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. Help, it helps me get my videos recognized and finds other viewers that, that uh, may not have seen this stuff. Help some other folks find it. Thank y'all.